Welcome back everyone. How did your baking soda crystal growing experiment go? Well, these are my results that I set up two weeks ago. Let's have a look at them. As you can see, I've grown lots of these weird white baking soda crystals on the string. Did you have similar results in your experiment? And could you work out why the crystals grew in this manner? Well, let's have a look at my experiment and see if we can work out what's happened. As you can see, both the red baking soda solution and the yellow baking soda solution were drawn up by capillary action through the string. The string is fibrous, so naturally water evaporates off along the length of the string, concentrating the baking soda solution in the string itself. When it gets to a point of saturation, the baking soda crystallizes out, as you can see has happened here. As you can see with my experiment, most of the crystals have grown closer to the red solution here, and very few, or really none at all, have grown here at the top of this yellow solution. This might be simply because the yellow solution is less concentrated, so perhaps it moves more easily along the string, and the more concentrated red solution concentrates and saturates out, forming the crystals more readily. I was a bit surprised how white my crystals are. I thought more of the food colouring would have been taken up and drawn up through the string and concentrated in the crystals, but mine are actually quite white. But interestingly, the crystals that are formed here are a mix of the two colours. If you look closely, they're orange, which makes sense because they're mixing the red and the yellow solutions. This formation process of these crystals is similar to what happens in caves. Although it's a little bit different, in caves, water drips down from the ceiling that contains a solution of calcium carbonate. As the water drips down from the cave ceiling, it leaves behind a little bit of that calcium carbonate on the ceiling, and that gradually forms stalactites on the ceiling and stalagmites on the floor, and many other formations within the caves. Although it is slightly different, in a way it's similar here because as the water has, has been lost, in this case been evaporated off, it's left behind those concentrations of baking soda forming these amazing crystal formations that in some ways are a little bit reminiscent of some of those caves. So next time you're in a cave, look up at the ceiling, look at those amazing stalactite formations and remember the formation of your baking soda crystals. Thank you for taking part.